kind of growing in a little crazy, but um, it's probably time for a chop soon. Lankini, when is your birthday? Because you're an Aries too, right? I am absolutely watching season 16 and I love it. It's so good. It's truly one of my favorite seasons in a long time. This cast is so strong. Which is what I tweeted out yesterday, and then a lot of people thought I was, like, shading... Shading Saphira or, or whatever, which is absolutely not the case. She's literally so incredible at Drag Race. I just meant it was a really strong cast. You, 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 you. I get magnetic. All right. We got some crimp going on. Can finally turn the crimper off, probably. Well... I'll keep it on for just a second. Hello, Billy. <laughs> when am I coming to the UK again? I don't know. Not anytime soon with y'all's crazy ass performers or er, promoters. But maybe, um, maybe for DragCon again. I really enjoyed the last DragCon. <sighs> Hi, Indica. Oh my god, I miss you. My queen. I had so much fun with you in Pittsburgh. Hello, Megan and Elsa. Wow, the girlies are all here. Oh my god, what's my favorite song on Eternal Sunshine? Very good question. Probably Boy Bye. And maybe... Um... I don't know, the title track is kind of sneaking into my brain. And Imperfect Free is really pretty. <laughs> Jonah from Superstore. I've heard that before. I think Michelle Visage said that, actually. She told me that I looked like Jonah from Superstore, and I didn't know who that was. Why didn't I stay longer at Camilla's thing on Saturday? I know I had to go to... Um, I had to go watch um, some friends of mine perform in Cirque du Soleil, up, like, way up in Rosemont, and I was running late, so I came in super, super quick. My skin looks amazing. I have a filter on. My skin is not doing so great right now. There's some spots. But yeah. Hello, Colin Duran. <laughs> the top four ending very LOL. See, sometimes when I tweet, it's just for fun. And then sometimes everyone gets mad at me. Imperfect for you. Let me find this part real fast. There she is. Boy, bye. Bye, bye. Oh my god, yes! Cake is coming here for my birthday! I'm so excited. I don't know if you guys know Cake from... Um... Oh my god, where's my brush go? Ugh. <sighs> Cake from DC, all the DC girls I love. Like they're like my favorite girls to party with. Tatiana, Cake, truly like all of them. I have so much time every time I go. And this time Cake is coming to me, so it's gonna be so fun. <sighs> I do do cameos, they're still open and I try my best to coordinate the cameos to when I'm in drag, and I'm actually in drag tomorrow, so if anyone wants a cameo, I will do them tomorrow in drag. And my cute little look that I'm filming. Oh! Like you needed me to and it perfect for you. I'm gonna crimp the end real fast. Isn't Camilla amazing? She's so good. She is just my inspiration. I love Honey Balenciaga. What is your, who's your bias? Oh, Marina. Boots. If she's not winning this thing, it's rigged. Rig, rig, rig. Not to discredit any queen in the work that they've done, but Marina, in my opinion, has done amazing.
Oh, I need Beyonce's gonna tour act two. I don't know, but I can't afford it if she is. I went to Renaissance act one three times. <sighs> but if she does, I'm not gonna lie. Ooh. I probably will sit the tour out or maybe just go once because um, I love country music. I just, when I, when I, like when Renaissance Act One came out and I was like, oh my God, a house and like dance and disco album by Beyonce for gay people. Of course I have to go see that, but I feel like this album is a little more for everybody else. And that's fine. I think it should be. But I'm just going to probably save a couple coin this time around. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Donut is so good. She is so good. She's anxious as always, but she's cute. She is sunbathing today. Oh, morphine on ice. Oh, so she came here a few weeks ago and we were trying to coordinate it. But I had some scheduling issues with um, cameraman and with ice rental and it just was not lining up so we actually didn't have to shoot it. I was really sad. Cause I love morphine so much, my Latina sister. I'm so proud of her. She's killing it right now. Um Oh Boy Bye. Imperfect boy. Yes, I'm excited for the next Billy album. When is that happening? And I'm like, I really want Billy to do a jazz album. I think she would slay that. I'm kind of like tired of her promoting this Barbie song. I think it's been a very long time and it's like, okay, how many times are you gonna perform at the Oscars or Grammys or whatever she's doing this song? I don't know, but I fucking love her and her and her brother create nothing but magic every single time. In perfect place. I'm not gonna go too crazy with this wig. Just a little bit. <sighs> Carson Gressley on eyes. Mm. Uh, can you see the hair that I'm doing? It's like blonde um, to pink crimped Humana. It's, uh, I like just finished the hot styling stuff, so it's not really brushed out or finished yet, but it's getting there. I'm wearing like a hat on top of this too, so the top doesn't have to be perfect. God, so this hair is tangly tangled. Period. Okay. Hello, Brazil. Eu te amo. <laughs> They're doing drag on Australia? Oh, girl. Are they offering the girls packages? Highly doubt it. Am I going to DragCon LA this year? I haven't decided yet. I don't really know exactly what's going on, but July is always a tough time for me because that is my fiance's birthday month. And I like to make sure I'm not as busy so I can spend some time with him. There, I just brushed it out a bit more. Ooh, pretty. That is really pretty. This hair is old, but I dug it out, gave her a little wash and a minor restyle, and I think that, I think we're revived. What's my favorite Beyonce song? That is a very difficult question, but since the beginning of time, it has always been flaws and all. I just think it's so beautiful. 
and it just has a lot of meaning for me. And I love that song. Oh, this hair is so cute now. Did you wear that silver bodysuit in a video once? It's so pretty. What silver bodysuit? What silver bodysuit? Yes, Lankin, this used to be a darker pink. After the wash, like, half the color came out. But I still kind of like it. It's just like a blushier neon pink now. Now this is looking vibrant. But yeah, this was from, like, year one of touring. So human hair can last you a long time. Oh, my God, the server from San Diego. Thank you so much for saving our Thanksgiving. That was a crazy night. <laughs> You missed my lives? Am I being entertaining? <laughs> I'm literally just sitting here. That's crazy. <laughs> well, this hair is done then. At least as done as it can be. How Rosé and I? So good. Lovers. Just kidding. But we still, we still keep in touch. <sighs> <laughs> Bucket hat. Good times. Oh, Well, yes. Mo, did you see the hair? I kind of slayed. Ooh. Don't look at the ends. They're a little dead. <laughs> but, oh, I think she's pretty. Um, yeah. All right. I like styling hair with you guys because I get so bored so quickly. Everyone's like, when I said I want to go to the Philippines, they're like, well, we don't have a lot of ice rinks. I don't only spend my time at ice rinks. Actually, preferably, I'd like to not be at an ice rink. <laughs> How do I feel about getting married? I'm so excited. I love that boy. Oh, plastic on ice would be amazing. She's such an angel. I'm sure she'd be so good. Why did I change ice rinks? I didn't technically change any ice rinks. I just, there's like three or four ice rinks that I have relationships with that uh, offer me ice. And I can't, I like just kind of go with whichever one has ice for me. You liked my mug that I did with um, Don. What was it? I don't think it was anything special. I don't think so. I did something different with my eyebrows, I think. Girl, Mo, yes. I've gotten a lash lift, but mine are so straight and strong that they only stay for like a two weeks or so and go straight back. So... If I did it consistently, maybe, but it's so uncomfortable and you just have to sit there and it's like, I don't know, I don't like it. Okay, let me talk about that new Baby Monster song. That song sounds like ass. I am, I think I'm done with YG and divorcing myself from whatever black appropriative aesthetic that they're trying to push on these literal teenage girls. I don't want to watch 14 year olds in music anyways, or 16 year olds. You got to be like, 18 plus. And like, if you're out here going sheesh and you're like a 14 year old Korean girl, it's just a no for me. It's so blech. We're just like, that's just so, it's so boring. Let's talk about appropriation in K-pop in general. The whole, like, I love the Seraphim and I know they're labeled as a global group, but I learned a lot about them recently that made me so upset. I went to um, Cobra's concert. You know Cobra? Cobra's like a queer... Um, like, future house, like, just baddie energy artist, um, from Sweden. And her music's so good, and she's an independent artist, and she's a hustler, and she's been, like, killing it, and I'm so proud of her. I performed with her last year, and I got to see her concert again this year, and I went backstage, and I was like, oh my god, it's so good. But one thing I noticed during the concert was the song, uh, debut that she has sounds really familiar, familiar to a Le Seraphim song. And I was like... 
wait a minute. And so I, I like Googled it and some people had clocked it, but the Seraphim fully stole like note for note. Um, the, the song debut for one of their songs, I think it's called, um, Hydra. It's a, it's like an intro song to their album and it's this like dark, nasty, deep house intro. It's really cunty. And it's the exact same song as Cobras. And I was so disappointed. And, you know, they're labeled as a global group. And then, like, their, their like, title track from this next album is... Sm it's One of their title tracks is called Smarter. And it's an Afrobeat song. It's literally Ama Piano, which is, like, what is being popularized by, like, Tyla right now. And it's so uncomfortable watching this full K-pop group with a member that's fully from New Jersey. Like, I know she knows. Just doing, like... Afro beats and they're like smarta baby smarta and I'm like they're like putting on like like South African and Nigerian accents is I think Nigeria is North Africa either way it's so awkward and I think K-pop just needs to get with it it's very weird I mean whatever they look at culture as an aesthetic not as like a culture they look at it as a trend it's so weird and then the sheesh thing ugh. It's just too much. I'm not listening to that shit. But whenever the girls do reggaeton, I kind of live. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> LOL. So strange. Um, boy, God, I, bah. What do you think Act 3 will be? Everyone says rap. No, it's going to be rock, girly. There's a lot of signs that point to country being rock. I think this new, like, circus thing that she's doing was kind of, like, something that helped birth rock music. So I think it's going to be rock. And she's done rock before. Who the hell do you think I am? I love that song. I don't know who Kiss of Life is. Is that a K-pop group? I do like the Illit song. They're just so young. Okay, now that the hair is done, I'm probably going to go. <laughs> but I just wanted to say hi because I missed you guys. And I, um, I'm trying to think of what's coming up. Um, in April, I'm going on a cruise. I'm performing on a cruise. And I've got a like, Three new on ice skating collabs coming soon. Um, I think I'm going to Texas at the end of April for a couple gigs. Dallas, and I'm trying to loop in like maybe some other cities down there. But we'll see. Is Billy doing rock? That'd be fierce. But either way, I love you guys.